could hit him. This made the giant even angrier. Fasty pointed his staff at Drake. Your dragon can't save you, tiny human, he boomed. Maybe he can't, but I can, a voice yelled. Drake gasped as Hulda marched up to Vasti. Kepri had finally unfrozen the wizard. Her blue robes were trimmed with fur. Her white hair was coiled in braids on top of her head. Hulda held out both arms, and yellow magic shot from her fingertips like lightning bolts. They zapped the giant, and he cried out. Angry, Vasti pointed his staff at Hulda. A blast of magic shot from the crystal. Hulda dodged out of the way as it zoomed toward her. So much was happening that Drake didn't know where to look. Kepri was trying to defrost Vulcan. Hulda and Vasti hit each other with powerful waves of magic. Frost kept trying to attack Worm, and Worm kept disappearing. The ice dragon began to paw at the floor. Then, Vasti trapped Hulda in a magic beam. She floated right off the floor. It looked like he was about to send her flying across the room. Hulda's magic isn't powerful enough. We have to help her, Drake thought. But how? Nina ran to Frost. She jumped onto the ice dragon's back. He began to thrash, but Nina held on tightly. Nina, get down! You'll get hurt! Drake yelled. Chapter 10. Smash. Nina kept climbing up Frost's back, up to the dragon's neck. She reached for the blue crystal. Frost flew up and thrashed. Thud. Nina was thrown to the floor, but she got right back on her feet. She jumped back onto Frost. Drake looked at Frost. The ice dragon was trying to throw Nina off again. Worm, can you help Nina? Drake yelled. Worm's body glowed green as he closed his eyes. The blue glow started to fade from Frost's crystal. Frost stopped thrashing. Quickly, Nina reached up and yanked the chain off Frost's neck. Then she jumped off the dragon. She put the crystal on the ground. She raised her axe. Smash! The crystal shattered into pieces. Vasti's head spun around at the sound. He dropped his magical hold on Holda. The wizard fell to the floor. Nina jumped onto Frost's back and patted his neck. Good to have you back, she said. Frost nuzzled his head against her arm. Vasti stomped toward them. Get away from my dragon, he yelled. An ice giant like me is the only fitting master for an ice dragon. Nina's eyes narrowed. Never, she cried. Frost, attack! Chapter 11. The Power of the Giant before Frost could make a move, Vasti slammed his big, icy fist on the floor. The whole fortress shook. It knocked a drake off his feet. Then Hulda spoke. Vasti, leave this place, she said. You cannot fight all of us. 